We recently had a unit that we did a service on and the driver was out probably about uh, maybe not even a week after we did the service and his check engine light started coming on. So we had them, they've got a little device they can plug into the uh, data bus if the dash doesn't tell them what the faults are and they can send us a printout. And this guy emailed me the printout and sure enough, here we go, it's 559 and that's the famous number for low fuel pressure, right? So we're thinking, well, great, something must have failed on it because we just did a fuel filter change. It can't be the fuel filter, right? So um, we're always learning lessons. I learn them every day. We all do in life because we uh, make assumptions. And uh, the first assumption was it can't be the fuel filters because we just changed them. So we're already in our heads thinking about we're going to have to do flow checks on this thing and maybe the actuator went bad. Uh, was it real cold out? You know, is that why that happened? The fuel was, was gelled a little bit, whatever. So uh, thankfully, when the unit came in, we followed systematic troubleshooting. And if you always follow systematic troubleshooting, it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of money. The first thing we did is we plugged on to the uh, engine and we checked the drop across the filter on the engine and uh, let's take a look what we found. So we checked our restriction at the uh, frame filter and we only had about uh, five inches of restriction that was okay and then we put the pressure drop uh, checks on the engine and lo and behold we had 50 psi drop across the filter. We took the filter off take a look down inside the center and instead of seeing a nice hole, we see the filter is crushed. And the filter had failed after just a week of running. Am I going to blame the filter manufacturer, beat them up? No, I'm not. Because things happen. Uh, part failures do happen. Filter failures do happen. The lesson here is always expect the unexpected. And don't circumvent troubleshooting because we just did this or we just did that. So uh, it was a good lesson for me and for the guys in the shop. And I hope it helps you if you run into a problem right after you do something to take the correct steps in troubleshooting. See you next time on Engine Shop Joe.